Right, this is a first for YouTube for me. Uh, it's an Overlander battery. It's a uh, electronic speed control. 40 amps. There we go, two, two to six LiPo. It's a AR6200 Spectrum receiver. I've got the JP ENERG Pro Brushless ESC instruction manual. I have a Emacs. There's a number, I don't know quite what it means. 11.1 volt. It's rated at 350 watts. Spinning a 9 by 6 prop for a lazy bee weighing in at two pounds so I've got quite a bit of power there if I need it uh, right and I've got a spectrum 6x 6i so I'm going to turn it on I've already been through the throttle sequence so you leave the throttle in the up position you power the ES ESC up for the first time and it beeps at you and then you pull it down and that just sets the the throttle maximum min positions okay right what I'm going to do is first of all is run through the programming mode audible tones there's a lot of weird dashes and lines and I am going to try and set up the where is it? Ask. Ah, you can't really see it. It's the switching frequency. I'm going to change it from eight kilohertz to sixteen kilohertz. Eight kilohertz is for a an in runner. Sixteen kilohertz is for an out runner. It's more efficient, but apparently it's a little bit noisier, which is a bit of a worry, but we shall see what happens. So the instruction manual says to keep it the throttle, as you can see I'm flying mode 1, it's the throttle in the, the full position, on position. I'm just going to put my phone down while I connect the battery. That slide, just wait a moment. So I've connected the battery. Should be working through the sequence now. That's the battery type. Ah. This is a low voltage cutoff threshold. Still the low voltage cutoff threshold. Then should be moving on to restore factory setup defaults. I'm going to run through fully for the first time. And what we do to select what we want is to make the throttle down to zero position. So this is timing setup. Two dashes. This is three dashes. This is soft acceleration start up. Soft acceleration. Wow. This is governor mode. 
This is for Hellies. The next one's motor rotation. Not yet. Motor rotation. The next one is what we want, which is switching frequency. So the first one's 8 kilohertz. This is switching frequency, 8 kilohertz. This is 16 kilohertz, which is what I want, but I'll do it next time. This is low voltage cutoff type. And then I've got it set to default, which is reduced power. And there we go. That's it. So I'm now going to uh, unplug and then plug back in again and redo it and then select 16 kilohertz. Okay. Here we go, that one a little bit worrying. Throttle still in the full position. So it's working through again. NICAD. This is LiPo, the default. A bip, three beeps, and a bip is medium, three volt, but low voltage cutoff threshold default. Restore factory setup defaults. Timing setup. Soft acceleration startups. This is governor mode, I think the hell is. Motor rotation. Now I've got to get rid of it. That's the 8 kilohertz. This is the 16 kilohertz down. So that's it, that's programmed, we'll just see if, ah. there we go, we've got it, super, well I hope this is of use to somebody. Just there we go again. Over and out. Bye.